some renovations are very easy to even do it yourself or with a small investment that you can hire somebody to do it for you really quickly does not take so much time and make a huge difference you're going to have to make a decision and whether you want to invest into making your house or property looking better in mint condition to sell it for the highest possible price to a buyer that's willing to pay you retail market value or in a hot market like this even pay you over asking if we create a bidding war right but you also have to think about what is exactly necessary to make those changes who will be doing meaning. it meaning are you capable and able to do all the renovations yourself or would you need to hire a contractor to do it for you other renovations may require a whole lot of work hiring different professionals to do that ordering things and waiting for them to come so how do you determine which way you should go that's what we're talking about today right after welcome back to my channel i'm Sphere papalevsky with supreme home sales one of my favorite things to do is to help people figure out if they should make any renovations to their property or home before they put it on the market or should they just forget about it and sell it as is in today's hot market everyone is looking for a hot deal and that includes investors because they love to snatch a good property that needs to be renovated and turn it around put it back on the market and make a hefty profit that might be something that you as the seller may very well be interested in doing maybe you're out of state and don't want to deal with all the renovations and taking care of business like that or maybe you need a quick sale you need and to understand what kind of renovations you should be doing what would they cost how long will it take and also remembering that there's a risk if you're waiting to put the house on the market for a certain amount of time you might be taking a risk that if the market changes and markets do change really quickly you might miss out and wash away all of your profits so be very mindful and very careful I'm working with John and John's dad hasn't occupied his property for two years now and he's away in another country so I was called in in order to figure out what we can do with the property how much is it worth as is what should we be doing to it in case we want to make any upgrades to sell it for retail to a buyer who would love to buy it and live there themselves so in our meeting I went over the entire property we looked at everything I looked at the floors the ceilings the walls the kitchens the bathrooms and the overall layout and amenities and we can take the property and completely remodel it from top to bottom including the floors completely demolishing the kitchen and the bathrooms ripping the floors stripping the walls stripping the ceilings because they were in a really terrible shape and invest a ton of money to bring the property to a condition where it can sell for the highest market value the real estate market can offer right now but then we looked at another option and the other option is well what what can we do to the property to minimize the expense minimize the renovations and maximize the profits with my recommendation we have created a multi-step process step number one we have decided that we will be renovating the kitchen however not entirely what we're going to be doing is is stripping the doors and the cabinets from its old dirty and wood type of brown looking cabinets stripping them away and painting them with white 
colors on the top cabinets and we will be doing the same thing on the bottom cabinets but we're, we'll be painting them gray we'll be replacing all the countertops with either granite countertops or similarly nice stone like maybe corian or quartz and we will be replacing all the appliances and that's going to give us a fresh look up to date with the in style cabinetry color scheme wise by the way stick to the end because there's a bonus step that i will tell you if you stick around to the end of the video the next thing we would be doing is renovating the bathrooms and they have bathtubs that look like they've been totally destroyed there's no refurbishing those things anymore we will be removing the tub in one of the bathrooms and just creating a stand-up shower which will consist of tiled walls tiled floor and then we will be keeping the floor tiles because like a beige color that really isn't going to make or break the deal so we will be using a new vanity we will be replacing the current medicine cabinet with a high tech inexpensive but very nice mirror that has a its own led light replacing the toilet bowl we will be using the white and grays scheme of colors in this bathroom. In bathroom number two, we will be doing pretty much the same thing. The only thing we're going to change is we are going to keep the bathtub, except we're going to replace it with a new one. We will tile the entire shower area. We will keep the floors the way that they were we will also change the vanity put a new toilet bowl put a new mirror with the led light these are the major things that we need to be invested in to a minimum to create a better visual a nicer look and more appealing to a buyer in the rest of the property we will paint the walls with one color most likely to keep it all in neutral way we would use a very light gray color we will repaint the ceilings we will change all the light fixtures in the entire property to be matching we will also replace all the switches and sock sockets we will also replace all the switches so they all match keep them white we will do a really good cleaning of the property with this condition being renovations done to the major components of the house are a huge thing to increase the home value step number two is to bring multiple contractors in to provide estimate what it would cost to do a job like this there are some contractors that offer a renovation including all of the materials, the vanities, toilets, decorative items, lighting and stuff like that are all included. Or we could get estimates from contractors who would do an estimate based on labor costs only. And then we have to go and buy everything. If you're an out of state owner, you probably want to utilize somebody who is going to take care of everything buy everything give you a one price to do the entire job or if you love to shop and you're local and you think that you will enjoy shopping for a renovations like that you can get a contractor who will only quote you on the labor part of the process and you can go ahead and spend away and choose everything that you like to choose so now we've determined what we're going to do with the property and we've got our estimates now it's time to decide is this investment worth our time and money and are we going to generate a profit after spending time and money renovating the property right it's a good idea to make a determination of 
what an investor who's looking to buy and flip as is going to offer you versus the investment amount of money that you have to lay out out of pocket in order to do those renovations and what would that cost and then what you would sell it in the marketplace what's the marketplace calls for what a buyer would pay for a property like this what I do, for instance, is at this point, I would reach out to my investors who I know who are looking for properties and waiting for my call to let them know that there is a property that is a possibility to be sold as is. I would bring them in, offer it to them for a price that is adequate to full market value minus renovations. And then if they're willing to pay that price, the owner you as the owner most likely will just say instead of me putting money in the pocket doing the renovations I might as well just sell it to them and move on or if these investors decide that they want to offer less then you might want to consider spending the time and money into the renovation process and selling it for a higher price I just got three estimates from three different contractors with the material included, have submitted those to the seller. And right now I am going to be showing this particular home to the investors, offering it to a specific price that we have agreed upon with the seller and see what kind of offers we get. Once we get through that process, we will know if it's worth the investment to sell it to them, renovate it, and then sell it. If the seller decides to take the investment route and we will be doing the renovations, I will post a video of before and after for you to see what the property looked like before, what was the offers we got, selling it as is, what we did to the property in order to upgrade it, how much money we invested, what was the return on investment, and what was the final price. So be sure to look for that video in maybe a month or two. If your property is not in the best shape and you need advice and assistance determining whether or not you should invest money into renovating it to sell it with a profit, or you should just sell it as is, feel free to comment below, ask a question, Call me directly or text 917-579-4455. I would love to hear from you. And if you ever had this experience, consider subscribing to my channel. Click on the like button and the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next Monday.